As we saw in chapter 2, uh, monoalphabetic cipher is not good because it has it is really easy to, uh, to break. And the reason for that is because no matter how, uh, which cipher you choose, if it's monoalphabetic, then it still preserved the frequencies of the letters. And that is already known to public, so uh, that's the reason that is not secure enough. So to avoid that uh, case, actually we need to hide the frequencies of letters somehow. Okay, so people develop uh, that kind of ciphers a lot. And uh, one way to do is uh, make a polyalphabetic ciphers, which means uh, we are not going to assign just one letter to one letter. That's monoalphabetic. Actually, one letter can be converted to several different letters in some way. And even it's all kind of different letters, when you're deciphering it, it go back to that unique letter for plain text. So it's very clever and there are many different ways to do that and in this chapter we are going to cover one of them. So uh, there is a clear difference between chapter one and chapter uh, chapter two and chapter three. In chapter two we covered monoalphabetic ciphers and there are many other monoalphabetic ciphers out there and we only cover a few of them. In chapter three, we are gonna cover one of uh, polyalphabetic ciphers.